this cheese name on screen, one that I cannot say for a variety of reasons, has had a name change after 85 years. Its Canadian owners Saputo Dairy have given in to pressure from some concerned citizens and changed the cheese's name to Chia Cheese, which is scheduled to be launched in July 2021. The main reason I can't say the original name is because last time I said it, YouTube accused me of using an extreme hateful slur, even though it was obvious that I wasn't using it in that way and was simply stating the name of a popular brand of cheese in Australia. But try explaining anything to these big tech giants. The name, as I've said before, is simply the surname of the guy who patented the cheese maturation process. Anyway, it has a new name. Chia. I'm not against them changing its name, in that companies are free to change the name of their products whenever they want to. It's a free country after all. But their reasoning for changing it might raise some questions. Note, the original name was not illegal in Australia. The Canadians aren't changing it because the government forced them to or anything like that. They're changing it voluntarily to appease a vocal minority. Do you think that minority is happy now? Of course not. Indigenous people should have been consulted on new cheese name. Dr. Stephen Hagen has campaigned for the last 21 years for the iconic cheese brand to change its name. However, now that it's changed, he questions the choice. He said, I'm not sure what the new name Cheer stands for. I would have liked it to be something a bit more inclusive of First Nations people. We weren't even consulted on names. We would like to have contributed. Look, I'm not against him campaigning to change the name. As I said, this is a free country. But should he really have expected a publicly listed Canadian company to include Australian First Nations people in its decision-making process? Anyway, as many people don't seem to like the new name Cheer, I'm going to make a few suggestions here. First of all, I think the new name should rhyme with the original. How about Moon Cheese? I mean, that makes a lot of sense, right? The moon is often said to be made out of cheese. What about Boone Cheese? Anybody who follows cricket would surely know former Australian international cricket star David Boone. Boone Cheese would be a classic Aussie icon that integrates cricket and cheese into one. Noon Cheese? Uh, it would take a bit of time to catch on, excuse the pun, but it's completely inoffensive. Croon Cheese as in a soft, low voice or tone. Crooning was epitomised by Bing Crosby and Frank Sinatra. Perhaps they could pay their families some royalties to include their pictures on the packet. And keeping in the spirit of crooning, as well as including some Aboriginal heritage, didgeridoo cheese. I know it doesn't rhyme, but it sounds okay, doesn't it? I don't know, should I have said that? Is that offensive? I mean, it's just a wind instrument after all. And just one more, soon cheese, as in soon to be gone cheese. Anyway, leave your suggestions below and I'm sure we'll be able to convince those Canadians to choose a name that represents all Australians. Cheers! Or should I say, cheer?